In this video, we'll write the balanced net ionic equation for Mg plus CuCl2, magnesium plus copper 2 chloride. This is a single displacement reaction. The magnesium replaces the copper. Copper is all by itself when we're done. So to do this, we first need to balance the molecular equation. In this case, it's already balanced, so that step's done. Then we need to write the state for each substance. So magnesium's a metal. That's going to be a solid. Copper chloride, copper 2 chloride. Chlorides are very soluble, like AQ. That's going to dissolve, dissociate into its ions, just like magnesium chloride here will also be aqueous. And then copper here by itself, that's a metal. So we have the states for each substance. Now we split the strong electrolytes into their ions. That gives us the complete ionic equation. So we don't split solids apart, just Mg. And I'll write the states at the end. Plus copper, we know that the chlorine, chloride ion, that's one minus, and we have two of them. So copper has to be two plus. We can't normally tell because it's a transition metal. We have to look at what it's bonded to. So we have the copper two ion, Cu2 plus, and then we have the chloride ion, Cl minus. But this two means we have two of these chloride ions. So those are the reactants in our net ionic equation products. We have two plus, magnesium's in group two on the periodic table. Then we had the minus here. So we have Mg two plus plus again two chloride ions. And then we have the copper. So this is the complete or total ionic equation. Now we're going to cross out the spectator ions. They're on both sides of the complete ionic equation. They haven't changed and we're really not interested in them. So I see magnesium here and the magnesium ion. These are different. This has a two plus charge. This is just magnesium. Can't do anything there. Copper two plus and then copper. No, but two chloride ions. And then in the products, two chloride ions. Those are the same. We'll get rid of those. This is our net ionic equation for Mg plus CuCl2. I'll clean this up, write the states, we'll have our net ionic equation. So this is the balanced net ionic equation for magnesium plus copper 2 chloride. You'll note that charge is conserved. On this side we have a plus 2, we have a plus 2 over here, and then we have a magnesium atom here and here, copper and copper, so mass is conserved as well. This is Dr. B with the balanced net ionic equation for Mg plus CuCl2. Thanks for watching.